Hey folks, this is a tutorial on 2.4b. Student progressive division problems. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. I'll kind of explain the rules as I go. This first one is 76 divided by 4. So 76 divided by 4. Uh, even if you know the answer, you still have to divide this out. Uh, 4 goes into 7 to go in there one time. 7 minus 4 gives me a remainder of 3. And bring down at 6, uh, 4 will go into 36 9 times. 9 times 4 is 36. I can subtract that out and zero out the problem. So that will work just fine. If you are a, in, uh, a student who is struggling a little bit with division, uh, this next problem, 86 divided by 5, you can do like this. I guess I can do it over here. 86 divided by 5. Uh, 5 goes into 8, it goes in there one time. We subtract out 5, we have a remainder of 3. We can bring down the 6. 5 does go into 36, goes in there 7 times. 7 times 5 is 35. And we have a remainder of 1. So students who are you know, developing their division skills are not quite yet proficient. What, I, what you can do on this is you can say that this is 17 is one part left out of five. Now I know you used to say 17 remainder one, but this is the answer that we're looking for. If you are a proficient student, uh, then I would like you to divide this out. Let's just keep going. We're going to put a decimal here and a decimal here. We can bring this zero down, and now we have 10. How many times does uh, five go into 10? Well, it goes in there two times. Uh, 2 times 5 is 10, and we can subtract that, and we've zeroed out. So we have the answer of 17.2. If you think about it, 17.2 is the same thing as 17 and one fifth. So students who are challenged by division, you could just leave it as a fraction. Uh, those of you who are good at this, I expect you to divide them all the way through. What are the rules? Well, the problems are going to get harder as you go, uh, and it says here at the bottom, you should divide them out, divide the remainders out until they terminate, till they finish, like this one did, till they repeat, or to the third decimal. All right, let's do uh, a problem in the next row. We have 150 divided by 4. And I take it and throw a new sticky on there. So we can keep this clean and neat. So we have 150. We are dividing that by 4. Uh, 4 does not go into 1. 4 does go into 15. It goes in there 3 times. Little times on there. So we can say 4 times 3 is 12. And then we have to subtract that. 15 minus 12. Well, 5 minus 2 would be 3. 1 minus 1 is 0. So now we can bring down this 3. Or bring down this 0. And how many times does uh, 4 go into 30? Well, if we put it in there 7 times, that would be 28. That's as close as we're going to get. So 7 times 4 is 28. Subtract it out, we have 2. Well, you could call this, if you're struggling with division a little bit, you could call this, uh, the answer is 37. And we have 2 fourths, which we can really call 37 and 1 half. Oops, 1 half. Uh, if you're a proficient student, let's keep going. Let's divide this. Let's put a decimal here and a decimal down here. And if we put a decimal there, we can put a zero. If we have a zero there, we can bring it down. How many times does 4 go into 20? Well, it goes in there 5 times. 5 times 4 is 20. And we can zero that out. Uh, and so the proficient student answer would be 37.5. And I encourage you, even if uh, you don't quite yet understand this, to at least be thinking about that. All right, let's take one from the next row of problems. Getting a little bit harder. Each row gets a little bit harder. This one here, I think we're going to get a repeater, if I remember right. So we have 142, and we're divided by 18. Tough problem. We're going to have to do some ciphering on the side here. Uh, 18 doesn't go into 1. It doesn't go into 14. It 
will fit into 142, because so we've got to think about this. Um, 10 times 18 would be 180. Well, that's going to be too big. 5 times 18 is going to be 90. That's too small. So we've got to go somewhere in between 5 and 10. 8. Okay. 8 times 18. Let's just try it. 8 times 8. 8 times 8 is 64. Here's the 4. I got a feeling this isn't going to work. Uh, and here's the 6. 8 times 1 is 8 plus 6 is 144. Just a little bit too big. So it's going to go in there 7 times. Uh, so let me go ahead and write and figure out what 7 times that is. 7 times 18. 7 times 8 is 56. 7 times 1 is 7. Uh, plus 5 is 126. So it's going to be 126. Subtract that out. Uh, we can do a trade here. 12 minus 6 is 6. This is now a 3. 3 minus 2 is 1. So we have a total of 16 left over. So uh, the developing student could say that the answer is 7 and 16 eighteenths, which is the same as 7. And um, if we divide these by Two, we could call that seven and eight ninths. That's one way of doing it. Otherwise, let's just divide it out and see what happens. Break the zero, bring that zero down. How many times does 18 go into 160? Well, eight times went in there, uh, 144. I think it's eight. 8 here, and let's just subtract 144 and see. I think that's going to work. 10 minus 4 is 6. This is now a 5. 5 minus 4 is 16. So let's bring down another 0. We have 160 again. Again, I can subtract 8 of them. 144. And you can see what's going to happen. This is just going to repeat. So the answer our answer, if you're a proficient student, we can say that this is 7 and 8 repeated. Alright, let's do one of the last problems, or one of the last row of problems here. Slide it down, cover up some of that. Uh, we have 1,000, uh, you know what, it's kind of messy and confusing. I'll put this up here. So let's set this up. We have 1,480, and we're dividing it by 16. All right. Well, uh, 16 doesn't go into 1. 16 doesn't go into 14. 16 will go into 148. I think it's 9 times. 10 times 16 will be 160, right? So 9 times 16 is going to be 16 less than that. So if I subtracted 16 here, I would have 144. So 144 goes in there 9 times. Now we subtract it, we've got 4 left. Bring down our 0. Uh, we have 40. 16 will go into 40. A couple of times. 2 times 16 is 32. Subtract that. We've got 8. This is decimal in there. Decimal here. We can bring that 0 down. We have 80. Uh, 16 will go into 80. Actually, 5 times. 5 times 16 is 80. Subtract that out. we got 0. There's my work steps in. Uh, and at the very bottom, it says that uh, your challenge problem is you can create a th a three problems, four digits divided by two digits. The first problem terminates at one decimal, the second one at two decimals, and the third one at three decimals. It's kind of tough. See if you can do it. All right, thanks for listening.